What is up, YouTube? It is me, John Avenger, once again. And as you can see, I'm not wearing my Avengers hat or my Iron Man hat. I'm wearing my Medieval Times hat. I just got back from Medieval Times like a couple hours ago. I had a great time. My Yellow Knight won for me. We prevailed. It was 20 years after I went, last time I went to Medieval Times. And I just, it was a blast. It was a nice welcome surprise for me. And it was a nice uh, homecoming for me. Coming back to this uh, arena with these loud crowds and great people and just, you know, so when my family, you know, having a good time and I had the best time out of all of them. So that was that's, uh, you know, I'm going to keep the crown for this whole review. This is still a review, but medieval time still kicks ass. It's gotten better than ever. Anyway, this is my review of a 1996 film. This is, you know, way after the Jaws films. And we're done with the Jaws films now. We are up to a film that flopped because it came out in January. It shouldn't have flopped. And that is Deep Rising. The one right here. Puppet Masters the, is not a, a film with, you know, in the water. This is a fun movie. Deep Rising. Truly horrifying. Well, in a way, if you know, if you're scared of the ocean, you'll definitely say that. And it's a it's a fun movie. Like Deep Rising is a film that did not deserve to flop. It should have been a franchise. You had a really good lead in, in Treat Williams, who was in The Phantom, and he was in, um, De uh, what was it, Dead Heat with uh, Joe Piscopo. He was great in that. I like him as an actor. I think he's really, really underrated. Uh, Stephen Summers directed this. He does a good job. The effects look good with the creatures in the water. It's got some fun action sequences, especially the jet ski thing, uh, go uh, getting out of the exploding ship. Famke Jensen, she's all right. I mean, I'm not really a big fan anymore ever since X-Men 3. This is in her prime, so she's kind of she's good to look at. That's about it. Uh, you have other actors in it, too. You got uh, Wes Studi, who was uh, Sagat in the Street Fighter movie. You got Kevin J. O'Connor, the weird guy with the with the facial hair from The Mummy. You have um, Derek O'Connor, who I've never heard of. You have Anthony Heald. And James Fleming, Jason Fleming, and uh, Joman Hansu. This is an early role for him before he did Amistad and Guardians of the Galaxy and Blood Diamond. He's a really good actor from Africa. People from that country can act. He can act, and so can uh, Lupita Nyong'o, who was in uh, the you know Force Awakens and uh, Twelve Years a Slave. Awesome freaking actors from Africa. But uh, this is a fun movie. I don't think it deserved a rotten, rotten. It got on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, they they can suck it anyway. Um, it's 106 minutes, so it's under two hours long. It's not like Titanic that's three hours long. I will not be reviewing that, by the way. I haven't seen it yet. You have a good script. You know, some fun, uh, some fun action. Like I said, the creature effects look really good, even for 1996 standards. It's got a you know, it's got a fast pace. It doesn't take forever for the creatures to appear. It's an interesting idea, you know, they go exploring on this boat and these creatures, like, I don't know, like tentacle creatures, they, they keep, kill, they swallow people up like a vacuum and kill them uh, one by one. It's kind of like Leviathan, but with a different cast. And, uh, you know, I like the film. I don't love the film because I haven't, I've only seen it once on YouTube, but I think the film is a lot of fun. It deserves features. It deserves to make a profit. I don't think it, it, releasing a monster movie in January is a death sentence. The only time it worked was Cloverfield, because that was something interesting that people were into, uh, that were intrigued by. But this didn't stand a chance back in January of 96. I mean, it's cold. No one likes going to the theater when it's freezing out in the snow or in the frigid air. And, you know, the January is the throwaway month for movies in the theater. On demand or on DVD, maybe there's some good stuff. But in the theater, no. There's, barely, there's maybe one out of ten movies that are decent, but most of the time it's not. But uh, Deep Rising is a fun movie. It's R-rated, so it's bloody. Do not show it to your kids. And uh, it doesn't hold back. Like, Summers, this was his one of a few R-rated films that he did. He mostly did PG-13 with the Mummy films and G.I. Joe, uh, The Rise of Cobra, and a bunch of other stuff. And I like him as a director. He's a lot better than freaking J.J. Abrams or Michael Bay, who's a sellout, and uh, Olivia Megaton or David Ayers. Yeah. I enjoyed this movie for what it is, and it's not a movie that deserves ridicule. Screw the haters, it's fun, and it's fast-paced, and it's a nice 90s film that I remember from a couple years ago. So it was it's nice to have on DVD. Uh, the DVD is on the double bill with uh, uh, the Puppet Masters with Donald Sutherland, so I'm glad to have it. This also has uh, Hellraiser 3 because I put it in the pack 
because the other film sucked. Uh, the third film was, um, what was it? I forgot what it was, but it was a piece of shit, the third movie. Uh, but the, this the, this movie's good. Deep Rising is fun. So I would definitely recommend it for if you want to see a fun monster movie from the mid-90s that didn't deserve to flop. And it's 20 years old as well, so happy anniversary, Deep Rising. Anyway, that's my review for Deep Rising. It is flawed. There are some problems. You know, some of the cast members, like Famke Jansen, I'm like, eh. I could, it, could, it could have been anybody, really. It could have been uh, he Heather Locklear, Heather Stevens, or uh, Amanda Peet, or anybody. She's just kind of interchangeable. She's there to be looked at. That's about it. I can't say much more. Same thing with Margot Robbie and Suicide Squad. She's only there for eye candy, and that's all you can get. So she's not my kind of eye candy. My kind of eye candy is women like Scarlett Johansson or, you know, uh, Elizabeth Olsen. That's my kind of woman. But anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. Like, keep liking and subscribing and commenting because I need more subscribers. I've been, you know, going down, you know, ever since uh, like the last three months. I've been losing subscribers for some reason. I don't know why. I don't do a bad job. I do this for you guys. I love what I do here on YouTube, and I love that I can do this on my own without anybody interfering, and that's great. And I don't get copyright claims anymore, so I'm glad I wore this crown because I'm. I feel like royalty today because I won. Medieval times, two in a row that I won with my family. I only lost once, and that was when I was in a school trip. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next review.